I'm wondering something. I'd like to know your thoughts about some of our traveling companions. Do you mind if I ask? I've got this nefarious plan to go around to each of them and secretly tell them all the nasty things you said. That way they'll mutiny and I shall become the group leader. <laughs> Ouch, now I'm wounded. Look at me, bleeding all over the place. You're just not very nice, are you? Seriously though, I'm only curious. I've had enough time to form my own opinions and I just want to see if yours are any different. How about Ogryn? You must have an opinion on the smell, at the very least. As long as he stays downwind, sure. Once he's had a bit to drink, however... <laughs> forget that. There is no bit to drink with him. Where? You didn't think that big pack he brings with him is full of equipment, did you? The man is a walking brewery. Not that it's all bad. Dwarven Ale has its charms, I suppose. I just don't think you need to drink to the point of blindness every time. Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. For a drunk, he's an excellent warrior, right? How he lifts his sword is a bit of a mystery. Though I suppose the point is that he does lift it. And so long as we can point him in the right direction, he charges too. He has gusto, I'll give him that. Zevran, the elf. You can't trust him, can you? Do you believe his so-called vow? Well, no. <laughs> not really. Of course not. It's, it's still a serious question. Do you believe him or not? Really? Why? That's a lot of trust to put in someone who tried to kill you. Yes, the rest of us have noticed that. What about Sten? The way he looks at me with those eyes. Creepy. And he's so quiet for someone so big. I know. The more I talk to him, the more it seems like his philosophy is not so vile as the Chantry describes it. It's an odd thing to think. And yet, he killed all those people. He doesn't even deny it. Doesn't that bother you? I don't know if I like the sound of that, but I guess I take your meaning. What about Liliana? Is she crazy? Or do you really believe in her vision? Even the Chantry believes that most claims of visions and such are usually people's minds playing tricks on them. Wishful thinking at best. I'm not sure what I think. That's one way to put it. I don't know what to make of her. If you look at her when she doesn't see you, she just looks so... so sad. I almost feel guilty taking her away from her life. Good for you, maybe. Her? I'm not so sure about. Morrigan. Do you trust her? Think about it. Maybe Flemeth sent her with us for some other reason than she said. Well, aside from the fact that she's a complete and utter bitch, no, I don't like her at all. Why, do you? Sure. Beautiful, just like... like something that's also dangerous, like a... beautiful... dangerous thing. Yes, one of those, but more evil. <laughs> Enough. I think my curiosity is sated. Let's get back to it, shall we? What have you there? A mirror? It is... just the same as the mirror which Flemeth smashed on the ground so long ago. It is incredible that you found one so like it. I am uncertain what to say. You must wish something in return, certainly. You say that as if I should be accustomed to such a thing. I have never received a gift, not one which did not come at a price. I suppose I should say thank you for the gift. Tis most thoughtful, truly. 
is a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit, in fact. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I knew immediately that you were far more formidable than the other men you traveled with. I found you intriguing. Yet I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. And that is what I do not understand. I have been with men physically, those who lusted after me and even professed love, but friendship with a man? I did not know it was even possible. Tell me, could there ever be anything more between you and I? Have you ever considered it? Which these are not. I understand. Still, tis good to think that we are friends. Of all the things I could have imagined when Flemeth told me to go with you, this would be the very last. I want you to know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship, I will always value it. But enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. I did not thank you. It occurs to me now that you have freed me from the crows, and yet I did not think to thank you for it. No matter why you did it, it still it was done, and I the benefactor. So, thank you. No, there is a need. I am simply not accustomed to the customs that come with our arrangement. In the Crows, we do not have friends. And yet here you are, and I cannot help but consider you such. Then allow me to say this. What we are doing here, stopping the blight, I cannot think of anything I have ever done which is so worthy. I intend to see this through to the end with you. After all, someone must take responsibility for preventing your untimely death. A suitable task for a friend, yes? Now isn't that odd? Just a year ago, Taliesin was telling me, Zevran, why are your plans always so horrid? Planning has never been my strong suit. Now, killing, killing and lovemaking, Killing and lovemaking and witty retorts. Uh, those I am better at. I forget where I was going with this. Well, no matter.
Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. How can I help you? Um... You just don't know when to quit. <laughs> Why so glum, Erin? Today is a glorious day. Today, I make dragon scale armor. I feel just giddy. Patience, patience. Now, I've dreamed of what I would do every night. It's in my head in perfect clarity. It will be the work of hours. What? what? You're serious? Absolutely. The only question is what type of armor. Dragon scale is marvelous, flexible and tough. I could make a lighter set of dragon skin armor, heavy dragon scale armor, or dragon bone plate. What interests you? Excellent! Excellent! Now don't move! There you go. My life's work, that is. You did it so fast! Of course, Eren. Have some faith. I am a master armorer, you know. Miracles never cease. But you, you're not welcome here anymore. I need a sabbatical. Maybe someplace warm. I hate my life. There she is. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? Eh, you haven't met her, I take it. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Akron, is that you? Yeah, in the flesh, baby. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? It was a bit of pain, but uh, it was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? <laughs> the whole surface to choose from, and you just happened to come to my tavern? Eh, uh, well... Uh... What? Oh, right. It's fate, Felsi. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. Sure they do. <laughs> You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Brontos behind. So, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty, then. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogryn? Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. If by fun you mean more likely to light farts on fire, yes. Oh well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Wait, you're leaving. You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. Well, you can't keep the archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings, it might just turn the whole blight around and go home. Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nug droppings. I'll tell you what, I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled, you frigid deep stalker. Fine. But you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated swordcast. Wouldn't dream of it. Here. It seems an appropriate moment to give you this. I acquired it on my very first job for the Crows. A Raveni merchant prince, and he was wearing a single jeweled earring when I killed him. In fact, that's about all he was wearing. I thought it was beautiful and took it to mark the occasion. I've kept it since, and I'd like you to have it. Don't get the wrong idea about it. 
You killed Talison. As far as the crows will be concerned, I died with him. That means I'm free, at least for now. Feel free to sell it or wear it, whatever you like. It's really the least I could give you in return. I, look, just, just take it. it. It's meant a lot to me, but so have, so has what you've done. Please, take it. You are a very frustrating man to deal with. Do you know that? We pick up every other bit of treasure we come across, but not this. You don't want the earring, you don't get the earring. Very simple. And these elves allow themselves to be herded together in this filth. Why, exactly? Again. Oh. Please, what do you want from me? I'll go already. As you desire. Cousin? Welcome home. Come in, come in. We assumed you were with the other wardens at Ostagar. Things uh, have been difficult since you've been gone. The healers took him into quarantine a few days ago. I'm sorry, cousin. Arl Howe led a purge. Vengeance for Vaughn's death, they say. I don't know. After the purge came some sort of pestilence. It's hard to say who was killed by soldiers and who fell to disease. She went to the hospice a week ago. They said... they said she had the plague. I didn't believe it. I mean, she was fine. But they took her to quarantine. I, I haven't seen her since. I don't know for certain, but Valor seemed to be in perfect health. A house on the north side of the square. You can't miss it, cousin. There's a huge crowd there now. All right. It's good to see you again, cousin. So... This is my house. I grew up here. Kinda sad. This must honestly be so freaking strange for him. Like, my life is completely different now, and here I am, coming back to this. God, it's like dead dogs in the street. A tree planted in the middle of misery. It rather beckons a single sad little tear, does it not? You bitch. This is my home. Have a little respect. Besides, it's a pretty cool tree. Nobody is coming here to help us. We have to help ourselves. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my Uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? I don't believe it. Maker's breath. They said all the Grey Wardens died with the King. Everyone thought... Valendrian even held a funeral for you. Cousin, you have no idea the, the things that happened after your wedding. I'm babbling, aren't I? I'm so happy to see you. A wedding? So there is a secretive side to you after all. No. Did you find out you... 
At least we can be sure you look stunning for the occasion. So much has happened. It's good you're home. These people say they're here to help us. Funny thing, the people they help all disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got protections from the plague, and they're fine. What about your niece, though? And my uncle Syrian and Valendrian? Where are they? The Tevinters quarantined your father yesterday. I told him not to go to the hospice. Not one elf they've taken in there has come out again. Who knows what's become of them? I knew you'd do something, cousin. Make her watch over you. There is no need to push. We will work our spell for each person in... Viserion's mercy. How long have you been ill, man? You should have come here days ago. The rest of you must stay back. Only the sick are permitted inside. Come with us. What's this? We've got another one. Wait. That's the one the Regent's looking for. One of the Grey Wardens. Five Sovereigns are the one who brings down the Warden! All the noise above. Yeah, that was really stupid of you. Yeah, I just took out six guards by myself. Help us, please! We're not sick! Let us out of here! Thank you. I knew the things they said about you weren't true. It doesn't matter. It's obviously not true. I mean, you're here now, right? Helping your people. We're getting out of here. Andraste, watch over you. Jesus. I leave you guys for ten seconds. As you desire. What happened? Some of the elves ran out, but I didn't recognize any of them. Where are all the others? Let me see that. What does this even mean? They can't be shipping people, can they? Shipping them where? No. People go in, but they don't come out. They aren't shipping anything out of there that we've seen. They could be moving through the back alleys. There are all sorts of buildings back there. They could be using one as some sort of warehouse, staging area. There are apartments off the alleys. I would go to the back of the hospice and maybe follow the alley from there. If you find any more information, please let me know. I refuse to accept that they're all simply gone. Who's there? Stay away! I, I I haven't seen nothing. Please, just leave me alone. All right. Uh, I saw them take everyone. Took them right out of their beds. Dragged them down the hallways. Baker, the little one's crying. They took him through here yesterday. Looked like a dead man. Every few days, they come back. It's like a parade, a silent one. Men and women and children. You have to go. They'll be back soon. They'll find out I talked and they'll take me too! Please, just go! What is the meaning of this? We were told that there would be no interference from the authorities. You simply fought your way in here to ask questions, did you? You will regret this, you know. Believe it or not, we've been given dispensation to do our business here. The humans talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? 
So this makes us kin? Don't be a fool. I am Tevinter first, and a servant of the Minrathu Circle second. Those are the things that matter. But enough. I am here to halt your slaughter, nothing more. Let us finish this, then. I intend to see you pay for the damage you've done here. I am Caladrius, and you, I assume, must be the Grey Warden I've heard so much about. What I want is for my business here to be concluded smoothly. If that requires that you and I come to some terms, then so be it. I've heard that you're trying to erode Logain's support. It must be a difficult task, yes, like washing away a mountain. Perhaps you could use some help. More of an arrangement, truth be told. One that disappears the moment angry armed intruders storm my abode. Truth be told, there was always a limit to how long we were going to be able to operate here. We've paid for many of Logain's troops, but once the land's meet is done, we become inconvenient. So, here is my offer. One hundred sovereigns from you for a letter with the seal of the Terran of Guaren upon it, implicating him in all of this. Then, we leave a few days earlier than planned with our profits and remaining slaves unharmed. Tis a reasonable enough starting offer. I suggest you look those elves in the eyes before you agree to have them hauled off to slavery, my friend. So, do we have a deal? Even you must admit it's much better than resorting to barbarism, yes? <sighs> Pity. Looks as if we shall have to settle this the hard way, then. My apologies. Seems your reputation is an accurate one. I surrender. No, wait! Hear me out, kind sir. Were I to use the life force of the remaining slaves here, I could augment your physical health a great deal. Allow me to leave this place alive, and I would be more than Happy to do this little service for you. Hmm. An interesting offer, if a tad messy. Little service. He is talking of blood magic. Surely you would not consider such a thing. Most wise. Uh, then, um, I don't suppose you would consider just, uh, letting me go? Ah. Well... That is a shame, isn't it? Yeah, I can That's literally see my dad on Son? Is it really you? When they said all the Grey Wardens died at Ostagar, I prayed they were wrong. Are you alright? What are you doing here? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You're so much like your mother. Come to the house. There's something I should give you. That's what I needed. Thank you very much.
cousin, you're amazing. Which I shouldn't say to your face because it'll go to your head, but it's true. Are you sticking around for a while? You're staying for dinner, aren't you? You'd better. I'll weasel a bottle of wine from Alarth and we can catch up. I'll hold you to that, cousin. Uh, Dad? So, you know how I said I would never get married? Yeah. Let me get a look at you. Maker, don't they feed you, Wardens? You're all skin and bones. <laughs> you hear that, Saurus? <laughs> no, everything's fine. If it looks a little messy, it's because I had to pull up the floorboards to get this out for you. It belonged to your mother. I think you should have it now. I know you'll do great things. You already do. Again? I'm game. No, I... no. I mean, no offense. I simply... no. I, I do not wish to talk about it. Enough! I said I am not interested. Can you not understand that? There are other things for you to focus on besides me, I am certain. D do those. Whoever you are, I... Wait. I know you. My son described you in great detail. He tells me that I owe you his life. When I saw my poor boy's legs, I only wish how still lived that I might tear him apart myself. I would bring troops against his son. But Oswin tells me Thomas had no part in his father's depravity. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I am taking my supper today with Ban Reginelder of the White River Benorn. I'll speak with her about this at once. How fares your brother? I had hoped to see him while I was in town, but he's made himself scarce. Every time I've called at the Chantry, he's been away. He answers none of my letters. That doesn't sound like Erminrid. I'm sure he's merely busy. Perhaps. I'll call at the rectory again tomorrow. May I help you? This is Ermenrick's. Explain yourself. My brother would no more part with this ring than with his head. Loghain? What does my brother have to do with him? A dungeon? What? No. I will go to him at once. Someone will answer for this. Take this with my thanks. It has been in my family since the War of Crowns, crafted for us by the Circle of Magi. An heirloom is a small thing compared to my brother's life. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Logay. We must end the civil war quickly. What the Blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. I hope Eamon doesn't expect me to give a speech. Maker, he probably does, doesn't he? Oh. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Marrick's son, 
You would already be in the land's meet, now wouldn't you? You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured you were born into freedom. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the land's meet itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. I have had so many doubts of late. Loghain is a great man, but his hatred of Orlay has driven him to madness. He has done terrible things. I know it. But I owe him everything. I cannot betray him. Do not ask me to. I never thought duty would taste so bitter. Stop him, Warden. Stop him from betraying everything he once loved. Please, show mercy. Without Loghain, there would be no Ferelden to defend. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Aemon. <laughs> But no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops? Or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? How much Ferelden blood does Orlesian gold buy these days? There are enough refugees in my Banorn now to make that abundantly clear. The South is fallen, Loghain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orlay? The blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight, yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, and we really expect them to simply return from whence they came. <laughs> the Warden speaks truly. My son was taken under cover of night. The things done to him! Some of them are beyond any healer's skill. Howe was responsible for himself. He will answer to the Maker for any wrongs committed in this life, as must we all. But you know that. You were the one who murdered him. Whatever Howe may have done, he should have been brought before the Seneschal. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home. I assure you, Warden, if I were going to send someone, it would be my own soldiers. I would not trust to the discretion of an apostate. Indeed, my brother tells a very different tale. He says you snatched a blood mage from the Chantry's justice. Coincidence? Do not think the Chantry will overlook this, Terran Loghain. Interference in a Templar's sacred duties is an offense against the Maker. Whatever I have done, I will answer for later. At the moment, however, I wish to know what this Warden has done with my daughter. You took my daughter, our Queen, by force! Killing her guards in the process! What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdane. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Caelan's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed. 
if not for this Grey Warden. So, the Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Anora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before! It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. The Warden helped me personally in a family matter. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden! The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once, before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it come to this. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough. Let the landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms in single combat until one party yields. And we who are assembled will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? Then let us test the mettle of our would-be king. Prepare yourself! Some of Marek in you after all. Good. Forget Marek. This is for Duncan. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No! When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Sonora. Warden, will you help us? As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead Ferelden? Thank you, Warden. You were wise not to disrupt Ferelden's governance any further in a time of such crisis. My first act as Queen must be to insist on receiving Alice's oath before all the lands meet, 
to relinquish all claim to the throne for himself and his heirs. Oh, I never wanted it. I mean, yes, of course. Happily, in fact. And now, lords and ladies of Ferelden, there is still a blight to defeat and armies to gather. And I appoint this man to lead us in both. We will not allow this land to be further threatened by the Archdemon. Gather your forces and await the Warden's command. On the morrow, we shall begin our struggle against the greatest threat Ferelden has ever faced. And we shall triumph over it, for we are Ferelden. So it's done. My father is dead. I never thought he would go so far. I never thought it would end like it did. Such a waste. It could have been. But what is done is done. My father had no illusions about the consequences of his actions, and neither do I. Arl Eamon has left for Redcliffe, and tells me that our armies have almost fully gathered there. I will be heading there myself. Bring your companions, and join us at Redcliffe Castle as soon as you are able. You have united for Elden Warden. Now we face the Blight. Again? I'm game. Hmm, I thought that this might be it. Are you certain you wish to talk about this? I, I really do not know what to say. Hmm, very well. An assassin must learn to forget about sentiment. It is dangerous. You take your pleasures where you can, when life is good. To expect anything more would be reckless. I thought it was the same between us. Something to enjoy, a pleasant diversion, and little more. And yet... I grew up amongst those who sold the illusion of love. And then I was trained to make my heart cold in favor of the kill. Everything I have been taught says what I feel is wrong. Yet, I cannot help it. Since you asked me into your tent, I have been nothing but confused. Do you understand me at all? All I need to know is if there might be some future for us. Some possibility of... I do not know what. I still have the earring. I would like to give it to you as a token of affection. Will you take it? Not unless you wish it. Then that is enough for me. I am sorry for acting so strangely. I think I will be better now. Much better. <laughs>